morning you find us at Hinton Ampner near Winchester in Hampshire. Beautiful morning. We've got the Land Rover Defender 2.2, we've got the Z4 Coupe and we've also got Rosie. We're going to have a quick walk around Rosie and explain what we actually got to film with the other day and the reason why we went to Vista in the first place. So this is the 1980 Land Rover Series 3 that we drove to Vista. It started off originally with the MOD in the tank, Royal Tank Regiment and to carry ammo across to across the airfield or something. It then got bought out by the, I think it was the BBC for Rosemary in Time, which was an old detective series between 2003 and 2007. This baby the bastard, Japanese tin versus British steel! <laughs> was completely rusted when we got it basically so had to completely redo it new chassis new bulkhead new interior the engine and transmission were rebuilt the springs and the dampers and everything all changed you know nut and bolt restoration tried to keep as much of the patina as possible so you can see that it was from that film we've managed to keep all the number plates and we've got, we've got nice little details and things like that that we tend to show at car shows quite an interesting little car it's slow as hell Thanks, you can't go any faster we're doing 50 and 280 miles in it was, well, painful to be honest with you, but we did it. And it was a nice thing to be able to tick off the list that uh, we've done a little thing like that with the car. So you might have seen that we had some vinyls made up for the little rally that we did. It made it a little bit more special and gives a little bit more character to Rosie. We had Pineapple Ben make the vinyls. He's taken the Rosemary in Time logo and fitted it on in a rally style sort of sticker. We've got the sponsors around the side. Massive thank you did really well in doing that. He makes lovely t-shirts, very cool skateboards and all sorts of different quirky things. If, if you want a sticker on it, he can do it for you. Big thanks to Doos Coops for the invite in the first place. He's the one with the Mark II Jag, the racing one. We were part of the Dawn 2020 raid, which was quite cool. That's all of this year. We've got a few different bits and bobs to go with. Uh, we've got another one coming soon. Keep your eyes out for that. Big shout out to Resto Rovers. Got us on the road in the first place. Couldn't have done 280 miles without him. So we went over a few different things, looked at the suspension, checked on the, the steering. There was a little bit of a leak coming from the top, so we put a little rubber seal in there. A massive thank you, he does all sorts of different work. Works from Series 1s to the Pumas, based over in Surrey. Excellent work, very good, very reliable. So this 1980 Series 3 Land Rover has had a nut and bolt restoration. It's only done 32,000 miles in the first place, but it's had a gearbox and engine rebuilt. It's had a new chassis, galvanised chassis, galvanised bulkhead. It's had a Hasty's disc brake conversion, which allows it to use Land Rover's own parts, which is quite a, quite a rarity, to be honest with you, for a, a Series 3 to even have disc brakes. It's had a parabolic spring conversion, so it rides a bit more comfortably. That, with the new interior, makes it a lot more usable, and we can take it on these rallies. It's quite a usable Series 3, very reliable, turns on the key. as you can probably hear in the background. Thank you to all those who have managed to let us film at Hinton Ampner this morning. Very cold morning, but very productive. Got a lot done. I'm very fortunate to be able to film in a location like that. 